How can I manage my anxiety on a daily basis? Great question, let's talk about it. I'm a therapist and this is something that I deal with on a daily basis with all ages, men, women, children, teens. Let's talk about how do we deal with it if we're experiencing it. The first step is let's understand anxiety is a very normal part of being human. We all experience anxiety. Doesn't matter where you come from, this is absolutely very normal. Anxiety is there to help us. Now, you might say, Avi, what are you talking about? How is anxiety helpful? Well, anxiety is there to protect us. Anxiety is there to step in when we need to get something done. However, it can become debilitating and problematic if it takes control over our life. And when we feel we lost control over certain situations because we're starting to feel racing thoughts, we're starting to avoid certain situations because we're feeling anxious. Now, here are some steps that we can do. Number one, recognize that anxiety is just an alarm. It's an alarm in your body letting you know that something is feeling unsettling. Right. So, for example, if you have a fire alarm in your house and it goes off, that's very helpful, letting you know something is wrong. It's the same thing in our body. Anxiety is there to protect us, but sometimes it does a little bit too much. So the first thing is recognize your feeling. Number two, uh, create a plan when you prepare accordingly for certain situations. For example, let's say you are going to meet up with friends and you might not know what to talk about. Maybe come up with three or four topics that you can talk about. Maybe come up with uh, different things that you can share, right? It takes away some of the pressure. Planning and preparing ahead of time can be helpful. Number three is allowing yourself to feel uncomfortable. It's very natural for us to always want to be comfortable. It's understandable. That's what we want as humans. Our brain always wants to be comfortable. But being comfortable is not always the best thing for us. Therefore, when you get comfortable with the feeling of being uncomfortable, that's the first step in taking back control. When you overcome your anxiety, it's you taking back control. Anxiety wants to control you. And that's why it can feel very disappointing whenever we feel like we're losing control of our life. One of the strategies that I use in therapy with my clients is exposure therapy. We do this in a safe way and naturally your body tells you to avoid the stressor. But it's extremely important to recognize that in order to overcome the thing that makes you feel anxious, you need to be uncomfortable. Anx the anxiety will not change in your brain if you're always comfortable. If you're someone who deals with anxiety and you want to be able to work on it, do something small. Take a small step. Do something today that's going to challenge you. So I'll give you an example. If let's say you naturally avoid social situations, go to a social situation and stay there for five minutes and see how you feel. Recognize what your body is telling you. Are you feeling that rush in your chest? Or is every part of your body saying, run, get out of here, go away and hide? If five minutes might be too much, how about you try three minutes? If three minutes are too much, try one minute and slowly work your way up. This is one way of dealing with your anxiety head on. I want you to know it's absolutely very doable to overcome this. If you're someone who deals with anxiety on a daily basis, you do not need to continue living this way where you feel like your control is out the window. Anxiety is something we need, but imbalance is something we need more. Anxiety is a story that we create in our mind to protect ourselves. We think about what if situations just to try to be safe. But remember, a lot of the times because of it, we're actually a prisoner of anxiety. And therefore, we want to take back control. Start off with small steps, if you can. 
do the thing that makes you feel uncomfortable really slowly and gradually work your way up. You might surprise yourself. You might challenge yourself. And before you run away from the fear, just stay there for an extra second. Stay there for an extra minute. And that's how you will build your tolerance. It's like going to the gym for your brain. Just like you go to the gym the first day, you can't pick up the heavy weights. It takes time to build up. It's the same thing. Think of it as a muscle in your brain. And that's how you build tolerance. This is your tip of the day. Let me know how you do. Let me know in the comments. Send me a direct message and tell me what your experience was like. I'm really curious to know uh, what the journey was like for you.